Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're on. Welcome, guys. Yes. Glad everyone's here. Uh, we're going to give people a few minutes to get in. There's still uh, quite a few people uh, with a lot of registrations for this one. So a lot of people in the webinar. We've got a lot of people in right now, but they're coming in every every moment. So uh, very excited to get everyone on the webinar today. Hopefully, you're not having any problems. You can get into the go to webinar links. Okay. Um, before we begin, let's start talking a little bit about what we need from you today on the webinar. Uh, this is being recorded, so we'll be able to share this on our YouTube page later, and we'll send you a link for, for it so you can get it. But um, we want this to be a, a participant webinar. This isn't just us talking. This is you participating as well. There's great things that we want to hear from you and, and get from you. You probably have questions that we want to make sure that we can answer. and. Uh, we want to make sure that you can see us and hear us okay. Uh, we've got a presentation we'll be sharing as well. Uh, but if you'll go to your GoToWebinar control panel, it's probably on your screen. Maybe it's here or there. I'm not quite sure. It could be floating over Kelsey's head. <laughs> Who knows? Um, wherever it is, go and find that section. And there should be something called uh, questions or chat in there. If you go in there and you type something out to us, we'll be able to see it. Uh, Whitney is on the line as well, monitoring those questions from her desk. Uh, we've also got the GoToWebinar app installed on our phones. Maybe some of you are joining from the GoToWebinar app. We'll be able to see those questions as you pop in. So go ahead and start typing. Tell us where you're calling, you're dialing in from. I'd be curious to know, are you using the app? Are you using the computer? Um, tell us what the weather's like. It is crazy snowy here in Utah, which is about time because it has been... No uh, snow. Yeah. like It's been like springtime here uh -huh. up until about, what, a week ago? like Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. And then and it just the snow just started snow. dumping. It's my kids told me, um, Dad, apparently the groundhog really did see his shadow. I thought that too. Isn't that funny? I was like, dang it, there really are Because when people said, Oh, there's there's more more time of winter and they're like, What are you talking about? It's like springtime know, outside. We were had we had days it was like sixty it. degrees. It was pretty fantastic. You're finally gonna go skiing though. Yes. I've been looking too. forward to that. Really looking forward to that. So um, I am not seeing questions showing up on the app, so the app is not working for me. It looks like I can submit questions this way, but we will have to monitor okay. questions from that. We can do that. Um, so we'll have to watch for those. Um, okay, cool. Well, we'll keep eye on that. Looks like we've got a lot of people in here. Robert, welcome. Frank, uh, good to see you again. Lots of people coming in here. What is Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, Baltimore, Maryland, um, Hattiesburg, uh, Santa Rosa, California. Where I Steve, be right now. welcome. Lindsay, welcome. AJ, welcome. Jay, Brent, Greg, oh Frank, Blake. Oh, we've got so many Wendy's people on the webinar today. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely going to see. Patrick from Lincoln, um, Denver, Colorado, Lincoln, oh, no. um, Kansas City, Kansas City, um, Florida, North Carolina. We've got people from all over the awesome. country here. I'm curious to know who's the farthest one away, you think? Who's, from us? Yeah, from us. So for, we're in we're in the we're Utah, in Utah marketing office. We'd be curious to know. I think we should send a t-shirt to the person okay. who's farthest away. So if you think you're farthest away, put in your information here. Put it put where you're calling in from and we'll see. We'll have a little competition here. Maryland um, might be the farthest so far. Yeah, but I'm wondering if we've got some Canada's or, or oh, maybe even yeah. some international. So um, we'll see. We'll, so That's we're in awesome. we're in Orem, Utah. You know, you can map it out and see where see where you're calling from and, and see how far it is. So the farthest person away gets a t-shirt okay. so so hopefully I mean, obviously the chat things working well seems like you guys can see us okay and hear us okay uh, we want to dive right into the presentation we know everyone's time is important to them um, so before we do that uh, the actual presentation itself I do want to know is this your first Qualsys webinar uh, it's a simple yes or no question um, I, I see a lot of familiar faces on here um, a lot of familiar names so I'm guessing there's quite a few people that have but I'm guessing we'll probably have some new people too which is exciting um, well, wow, a lot of people are saying yes, this is their this is their first one. Wow. Wow, the majority are saying this is their like first how, one. Wow, good. I was expecting well, that. They'll learn a lot. Yeah, I, I really hope this is beneficial to you. So this is exciting. Thank you very much for joining in today and thanks for thanks for coming on today. Um, we'll give you another minute to vote on that and then uh, we're gonna ask another question. Um, while we're doing that, um, Kelsey, um, you have been very, very busy lately, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Very, very busy um, filming a, a whole series of, of new videos for us. Tell yes. us about that. So, like you said, we've been filming a handful of new tech installation videos. So hopefully we have that done by the end of the month, I think, is our goal. Mm -hmm. So that we'll have the complete technical training 
um, installation videos up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We're continuing to post those to social media as well. Yep. So if you're not following us on YouTube, please do. Definitely it's just youtube.com slash qualsys um, and uh, pretty easy to, to find us there. We're posting new videos on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got almost the whole quick guide done already and Which I think we're going to show we're going to show an example of that um, uh, actually right here. I'm going to go ahead and show my screen and we'll press play on the presentation here and share our screen. So there we go. So, um, you know, this whole series of IQ Panel 2 training videos, we've not only put it on YouTube, but we also have it on our dealer portal as well. That's right, yes. So people that log into our dealer portal will be able to actually follow through, those, watch those videos, and hopefully at the end of it feel pretty, pretty confident mm -hmm. in what they're doing. I want to show a quick video. This is one of Kelsey's uh, videos, the first one in the series. You're going to love using the IQ Panel. And here's a few. Why? The IQ panel is a 7 inch touch screen with a built in camera. It's ultra thin and it can be mounted on the wall, but it also includes a table stand. It's got dual microphones that can also work as a glass break detector. It's got two speakers and a micro SD card slot. Inside the panel, there's a lithium ion battery, siren, and Qualcomm Snapdragon. The Qualcomm Snapdragon is an entire system on a single chip. It includes LTE, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the Android operating system, and even a built-in access point. On top of this platform, we've added two daughter cards, one for our S-Line encrypted security radio and one for Z-Way Plus. There's also two open slots that can be used for emerging or legacy technology. The IQ Panel's swipe and touch-based interface is intuitive and easy to use. The IQ panel includes Bluetooth touchless disarming, which allows you to pair up to five <laughs> smartphones with your system. And when you arm your system to a wave, the system disarms automatically when you get down. You can also get disarm photos sent to your phone or smartwatch, so you know when people get home. The IQ panel uses the latest in LTE and Wi-Fi dual path connectivity to keep your system running fast, constantly connected, and up to date with the latest software upgrades. The IQ panel also puts security back into security with our S-Line encryption technology, protecting the signal being sent from the sensors to the panel from hackers or people who attempt to defeat the system. The IQ panel has so much more packed into it, including powerful diagnostic tools, making installation and troubleshooting easy, integration for security, life safety, and smart home devices such as lights, locks, thermostats, garage doors, and more. To become a dealer, visit qualsys.com today. Pretty good video, and there's a whole bunch more of those. Um, there are. Yeah, so if you haven't seen those already on our YouTube page uh, or on our dealer portal, get in there. And, and the, the, to get into the dealer portal is really easy, dealers.qualsys.com. You can also go to our website um, and click on dealers in the top corner. And when you do that, you'll be presented with, you can either become a dealer and register to become a dealer, or if you've already become a dealer, you can um, you know, click on the link to take you to the dealer portal and register for portal access. Uh, sometimes it's a little confusing for people too, like you know, think they're thinking as they're registering to become a dealer, they're that that's registering. also registering for right. portal access. We don't grant portal access to people until they've already become a dealer for us. And become a dealer is pretty easy. You, you handle that process right now, right? Mm -hmm. what, what does someone need to be able to become a dealer with us? Really, it's gonna be the first thing is to fill out all of the information on our website. And then I'll give you a call and let make sure that you have dealer portal access. And then really it's talking to your sales rep and getting into distribution. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's super easy. Yeah, a lot of people think you need approval to become a dealer for us. As long as we have your information and you know where to go by, um, really the dealer approval process is making sure that you have the, su the support you need, not necessarily us telling us you can or can't buy. You can absolutely go into distribution today and start buying. We just want to make sure you get all the support you need. And that's Definitely. part of what Kelsey does on a, yeah. on a daily basis. So. Yeah, so training, download, support. Uh, if you don't have access to the portal, make sure you get access today. Uh, that'll really help you out. So let's dive right into our content. Um, before I, uh, well, I don't, I wanna ask, I wanna do a poll question, but we'll do that in a moment. Smartphones with a benchmark, everybody's got these, right? I mean, this is, I, I, I would be curious it's to know if anybody has a flip phone on this oh. call. I, I'm guessing <laughs> no one does. But if you are one of those people that has a flip phone, ignore this next little part. Um, People have become so accustomed to this kind of technology that this now this is now the benchmark. And, and for those of you that have been on our webinars before, you've heard us say this, but smartphone is the benchmark for all technology. In fact, 
And it's not just security panels now, but it's all technology. When you get in your car, if you have a stereo or you're going to buy a new car and you're looking at the stereo, you measure the interface on the stereo as to whether or not it feels like your phone. And if it doesn't feel like your phone, you think, oh, this is an old stereo. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is the older one. Being or it's compatible the, with your phone. And being compatible with your, mm -hmm. I mean, this, everything's got to be compatible with your smartphone. It's got to look like your smartphone. It's got to feel like the smartphone. And we think as, as consumers, we think that if it doesn't feel like this, it belongs on the clearance rack. It must yep. be older technology. So keep that in mind as you're, as you're mm -hmm. out there talking to your customers and, and interacting with them because that smartphone as the benchmark for them helps them understand, um, and, and many people don't even realize this, but helps them understand the kind of technology that you are going to be putting in their house and helps them really appreciate that. Because some people think, oh, I just need a security system, and they just associate a security system with an old rubber button you know, keypad that's you know 20-year-old technology. Um, and some of those things have done a really good job keeping up through mobile apps and things like that. But you know, at the end of the day, when you put one of those on the customer's wall, they are less than satisfied because of this paradigm. Okay, they believe that smartphones are the technology, and they they think that it should be a tablet up on their wall, right? That's what it should feel like. Um, so, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. The other thing that is interesting is the way that the market is changing. We're seeing new players emerging. We're seeing new routes to market showing up. Uh, there's new product offerings, new pricing structures. Take a look at you know ADT's offering that's uh, that's in Best Buy. You know they've got this. A system that you can buy right off the shelf and go take it home, um, and and it's a system that's got Samsung Smart Things built into it and uh, ADT power in the background, and people think, oh, this is easy. I can just walk into Best Buy and buy it and take it home, and I'm done. Okay. Think about Nest. Nest is really has released a system, and I, I don't know how well it's really done. I know we haven't heard too much. Yeah, I haven't heard too much about it, but I know that a lot of people have said, oh, that's nice, but I really want a touchscreen. But you know, they their their pricing models. What's really interesting to me, I've noticed that they're not going out with a $40 a month and no, don't pay anything up front type model. They're going out with a similar model to what cell phones and other companies are doing, pay which is exactly pay a lot up front and then have a very small amount, you know, each month after that, um, yeah. if anything after that. And, and Ring has, re has released their security system and is doing the same thing. You know, so these new pricing structures, once you start asking yourself as, as we're going through the presentation today, start asking yourself, do I need to start coming up with some new pricing structures? Are the pricing structures I've had in place for years, which work really well and we've still got good response out of them, are they still what the customer is expecting? You know, if I can offer a product that the customer is expecting, something that looks and feels great, but I'm still offering a pricing structure that they're not as happy with, do I need to change that up? So keep that in mind as, as we're going through today's presentation. Let's talk about the award winning IQ panel too. I've got a question for you guys, a poll question. I want to know, have you installed the IQ Panel 2 for an end user? Uh, again, simple answer. It's either uh, yes or not yet. The answer is not going to be no because we know everyone's eventually, eventually going to do definitely. it, right? <laughs> so yes or not yet. I'm curious to know the answer here. And this, and this helps us understand the baseline for which we are going to be talking to you because if you're familiar with the IQ Panel 2 um, or not familiar with the IQ Panel 2, uh, this helps us understand how to really Help. And it looks like it's pretty even right now. It looks like the yeses have it, but just barely. 51% have and 40, oh, oh no, it's 52%, yes. Bit. So it's interesting. They have it's about 50 50 here. So that's that's really good. So it looks mm -hmm. like some of you guys have not installed an IQ panel for an end user before. Um, now, maybe it's because you're not an installer. Uh, maybe your company's doing it, but you're because you're not an installer, you don't see it. Uh, maybe it's because your company still is still evaluating. Oh, look at that. The poll is now a dead set oh 50 gosh. 50. So very interesting. That is interesting. I don't think we've seen that before. No, we haven't. All right, I'm going to close the poll right now while it's good and 50 50. Okay. So, uh, our last poll we'll do towards the end of this, and I want to keep going into so the, uh, the, the IQ panel too. We're going to show this quick little commercial. Hopefully, you've seen this on our on our website, but if you haven't, we want to show this to you now. These are for all the people that haven't installed it. Technology one should be simple, technology should be beautiful. This is the IQ panel. Again, that's stuttering on GoToWebinar. The IQ panel is a better way to stream video. To use, no matter how old you are, it keeps you connected to the things that matter most to you, like your home and your family. Sending disarmed photos to your smartphone so you'll know when they arrive. With Bluetooth touchless disarming, you can leave your phone in your pocket. And the IQ panel securely authenticates you, preparing your home for your arrival. The 
The IQ panel controls your entire home with an intuitive, elegant no. like touch screen that looks great on the wall. Can't do that. I thought I could look at the questions while they were doing that. I messed it up. It uses intelligent automation to make things easier when you are home. And you can customize the photo frame to show off your latest family adventure. And when you leave again, the IQ panel knows you're gone. Arm your security system, locking your doors, arm your encrypted security sensors, close your garage door, adjust your thermostat, and turn off your lights, making your home secure and energy efficient. With LTE, a built-in router, panel camera, and more, the IQ panel is the most advanced, easy to use, security and smart home platform available. The Qualsys IQ panel, all in one, always connected, always innovating. You can find that video on our website. It's right on the homepage. You could also find it on our YouTube channel. We talked about, you know, subscribing to that. Um, and of course it's on our dealer portal if you wanna download mm -hmm. that and use that. Um, and that brings us to today's presentation, which is the five things they're going to change the way you sell. Um, I really want to focus this not only on the items themselves, but how to use those items, uh, because I think that it's going to really make a big impact for people uh, in the way they're selling. Mm -hmm. Before we jump directly into that, I just want to double check and make sure there's no questions that we need to be addressing here or anything that people are asking. Um, looks like some interesting. Whitney, anything, uh, anything pressing you think we should talk about? Come on in. Oh, you texted me? Oh, I've been looking my texting. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so this is this is a good way of doing it. Whitney's gonna yeah. text us instead of chiming. In. Mate, do we need to, we like hearing Whitney's voice though? I know. All right. Um, so they're asking. One person asked. We've used two other brands in the past. Want to know if you offer a dealer demo product to convert your showroom to our system? Uh, Dean, great question. Um, usually the uh, distributors have a program that allow you to do um, something from a demo perspective. Uh, so definitely reach out to your distributor and see what you got, see what, what options they have for you. So great. Um, James Dunn says, I just liked you on Facebook. I'm the thousandth one. Oh, he deserves something. He deserves something. Yes. Yeah. James. Who was we'll, that James? James Dunn. So we'll make sure yes. that we, yeah, you sent him mm -hmm. something. Um, uh, Steve wants to know if Kelsey's replacing Jenny. So Jenny, um, Interesting enough, Jenny's decided to be a mom, and she has moved back home to Georgia. She's living on the beach. Uh, you know, you could probably rough life. Boy. And no one could replace Jenny. We, no, definitely Seriously. not. Definitely not. <laughs> um, I just want to pull up real quick Jenny's Jenny's page because I see her out having fun all the time. I know, and so jealous. This was this was Jenny on uh, this was Jenny this weekend. This is how Jenny spends her weekends, guys. Um, having a good time at the beach just enjoying spending time with her kids. This is her and her son at his birthday party. So, so Jenny's, Jenny's having a great old time being a mom. We would love it if Jenny would come back to Utah and move back to Utah and spend some time with us. Um, uh, we absolutely we would love that. We've, we've tried to do some things. <laughs> yeah, we tried to have her do some, some remote videos where she would do it on her own and things like that, which, you know, they turned out okay. Mm -hmm. And we might, we might use her for some of that stuff. Um, we know that she's going to come travel back to Utah from time to time. So, um, I wouldn't say that that Kelsey's replacing no. Jenny by any means. Kelsey's in charge of our dealer interactions, and uh, as as she onboards new dealers and helps them out with things, uh, we certainly will also have the, the Jenny videos as well as 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 often as we can get Jenny in here to film with us. So great question. Uh, James asks the camera on the panel takes a picture. What alarm.com service is that? Great question. We'll we'll talk about that in a little bit, James. So hold that question for us. Um, Victoria wants to know if we can re review the court, view the court recording again later. Yep, yep. We'll put that on our YouTube panel, on our YouTube tip page. Um, Chaz Parks wants to say, will the panel tell you the meaning of life? No, I the panel wish. won't tell you the meaning <laughs> of life, but it certainly will give you purpose in life. That's um, a good answer. <laughs> yeah. Will the panel work as well with small business applications? Justin, great question. Absolutely. Everything we're talking about here absolutely has mm -hmm. a, a, a small business application to it. Um, Boy, these questions are just coming in. We're never going to get Holy to the presentation <laughs> today if, if these keep coming. How much do you love Whitney? Uh, is that from a, a person? 
Whitney, I don't so think that's much. from a, one of our dealers. Yeah. Boy, these questions are coming in fast and hard. <laughs> um, all right. You've got a great partner with alarm.com. Would you consider partnering with other IOT manufacturers like Nest? Um, good question, Steve. You know, we've, we've looked at other ones and we certainly are, we're open to things, but alarm.com has been such a tremendous partner that it would be hard for us to start over. I mean, we've got what, five to seven years worth of, of work. And I guess the question would be, do you want us to stop innovating right now so that we can spend our time and our team's effort integrating with a new partner? Or would you, you know, continue innovating with alarm.com? I don't think we'll ever stop innovating with alarm.com. The question would be, do we really want to slow down so that we can offer other solutions? And the only reason I would want to offer another solution is if it was really beneficial to our customers. Mm -hmm. And right now, right. alarm.com fulfills everything we're looking for. So I don't see anything on the horizon. That decision is probably not up to me if in the future we decide to start integrating with other partners. But as of right now, uh, there's no, 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 uh, no plans to integrate with any other partners. Now, he did specifically mention Nest. Um, Nest is certainly a service provider, but it's also a product line. Uh, and right now you can get a Nest, you can take a Nest thermostat and put it on a, on a system with an IQ panel. It's mm -hmm. through alarm.com. There's an integration there. So um, I think as the world becomes more, more IOT, more internet of things compatible, uh, you're going to see a lot of these lines between companies blurred. You're going to see them basically coming together and doing more integrations mm -hmm. and, and more collaborations. So great questions. Um, all right, so let's, oh, here's another question. Um, communication through alarm.com. When will the Qualsys Panable be compatible with Samsung smartwatches? Great question, Pete. That's really because that Samsung smartwatch is really a an app through alarm.com. It's a better question for your alarm.com rep. We are anxiously waiting for that Samsung app uh, for the smartwatch as well, uh, the Samsung Gear, I believe it's called. Cool. So that, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, it's, it's definitely a question for alarm.com, and my understanding is that they're working on it. So. Well, let's dive into the presentation. I know there's a lot of people eager to see what we're going to talk about today. Five things are going to change the way you sell. I'm excited. The first thing, looks matter. Okay. The IQ panel looks great on the wall. Okay. We've got this nice, thin. It's so thin. So you thin. Show yeah. Show. show right. I mean, for those people who haven't yes. seen it, it is super thin. In fact, I like to show it compared to an iPad. If you look at how, how you know. Do you want me to hold them both? Well, it's, it, hold it up fr face front too. So oh, if you look okay. at it this way, I mean, it's from so a look similar. standpoint, okay, they look really similar. This is an iPad mini, right? So looks great on the wall, looks great on a table stand. Um, you know, this, this whole look and feel thing is really, really important for a customer. You know, looks really do matter. And having a solution that allows you to really, really show off how thin and beautiful the, the system can be, how nice it is to use, but it looks aren't just the the actual plastic looks are also the user interface and if you think about the iq panels interface with the you know swiping down to get to the settings swiping over to get to your lights swiping again to get to your locks things like that scrolling up and down you know through multiple pages of content it's a really intuitive really beautiful experience and that beautiful experience means customers are going to use it it means people are going to actually touch the panel they're going to use the panel and usage means less attrition. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's one thing I've learned in my career, it's that if you can get people to use your product, then they're not going to want to deviate from it unless your product just becomes so outdated that in using it, they decide that it's it, it doesn't feel consistent with what they consider modern technology. But this one does, right? It's so familiar. Really mm -hmm. familiar. And, and as you add new categories, if you add a light to your to your panel, you get a lights page. If you add a lock to your panel, you get a locks page. It's almost like magic and it really becomes this great really easy to use experience. Um, so the question we have for our dealers is, how do you show it? How do you actually take that user experience and show it? Well, that really depends on the situation you've got. Here's a few suggestions you can use. First off, we have an emulator. You can actually go into the iOS app store, uh, either on your tablet or on your iPhone, and do a search for IQ Panel 2. Uh, if you search for IQ Panel 2, you'll get that emulator, and it will look and feel exactly like the IQ panel, and you'll be able to swipe through and things like that. So it's one great way to show off how beautiful and easy to use the the, the system is. In fact, it even has the um, it even has the ability to take a disarm photo, and we'll talk about those in a moment. A disarm photo from the apps or from the the camera of your smartphone and present it right there. So it's again, it's a really really great so experience. Cool. Yeah. It's a really cool experience. Uh, for those of you that don't have an iOS device, maybe your sales teams are not deployed with a with a an, an iPad. You can use 
the tablet version of um, our emulators. Uh, they won't be offline standalone apps, but they will be apps that you can access if you're connected to the internet. Uh, there is links to all those in the dealer portal. Dealer portal. Yep. So under if you go sales to sales and marketing. Yep. Go to sales and marketing on uh, under the downloads, and uh, you'll see uh, there's one for a tablet, there's one for a smartphone, and a computer, and a computer mm -hmm. one. So no matter which one you're using, you'll be able to access that information. So that's one way to show off your your you know the beauty of the panel is the emulator. Um, that's a great way to do it. The second way is that two minute commercial we just showed a minute ago. Yep. You show that commercial to someone and they think, oh, wow, look at how easy that is. They can see pictures of it on the wall. They can see people interacting with it. It really helps illustrate. And video, I mean, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. Video is huge now. Video's got a lot of pictures in it mm -hmm. and everyone loves to watch a video. If you can get the customer to say, hey, Mr. Customer, you know, let me show you this quick video and you you play that video on your iPad to show how awesome that, that panel looks, it, it's going to be tremendous for them and they'll really, really respond to it. The other one that we we suggest, and this isn't always possible for everyone, is actually get a real panel to use as a demo. We've had dealers who actually, I mean, there was a big dealer that just launched a couple weeks ago, and they deployed every single salesperson with a panel. They gave every single salesperson a panel, and that salesperson's responsible for plugging it in at night and charging it up. And then throughout the day, as they're walking around or working in people's homes, they can swipe and touch and use an actual panel. You can tell a customer, hey, imagine how great this is going to look on your wall, just like that. or Oh, you'd like to have it over here? Sure, look how great that's gonna look. Oh, you want it over here? And they can walk around and show them. They can let them play with it and see it. They can hand it to the customer and see how, how thin and beautiful it is. So it's it's an expensive way of doing it. Obviously, you're, you know, the cost of a panel is, is you know, a lot more than getting the free emulator, but for those who are willing to pay it, to pay that expense, it's, it's, it's got a great visualizing, dividend. visualizing, for sure. Really great to visualize, and you've seen, uh, we've seen a lot of dealers who told us that their sales have really gone up because of it. So it's an investment, but it could be a very worthwhile investment for your company if it's worthwhile. Now, um, one thing I might suggest as well is inevitably there's always kind of that, what's the best way to put this, like that refurbish thing where someone gets a panel and then decides they want to cancel it for whatever reason, things like that. You know, a lot of times you can't resell those panels. Those panels that you get might might be a good solution to say, hey, let's use these for our sales team it's instead. Um, although we actually were looking at trying to create a refurbished program where we would sell refurbished panels on our website. Uh, do you know why we didn't do that? No, I have no idea. There weren't any that came back. Oh, that's no, a good no one was returning them. <laughs> no one was canceling their accounts. No one was getting so literally we're like, well, this is great. We could sell them as demo panels and sales tools. Well, but You're we didn't have any. Part. Yeah, no one, no <laughs> one is actually returning them. So again, another testament to why looks matter. So look at the the quote that we've got. Not quote, but here's the scripting suggestion we have on the screen here that you can use as you are out there selling. And I think it's it's potentially really effective. Um, you have a smartphone, right? What kind? Is it an Apple, an Android? Well, this is going to feel just like your phone. Touch something to see it. Swipe away to dismiss. Swipe down on the screen to access volume of bright, bright, brightness adjustments. It's really easy and feels so familiar. Just a statement like that can really help instill a lot of um, power and, uh, and enthusiasm and excitement into the product that you're offering. So, you know, telling someone this is going to, that phrase right there feels like your phone. This feels just like your phone. You know, we talked about it earlier about how smartphones are the benchmark. When you tell someone this feels just like your phone, the experience is just like your phone, that's really going to resonate. Um, let's see if there are any questions related to um, the look and feel. Do, 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 do. Any inter it's any interactive demo on the panel app to show customers kind of the one. I don't know what that's saying. It's an interactive demo panel or app to show customers. Yes, that's good. So, yeah. Oh, so he's asking, he's asking, is the emulator an interactive demo? Um, uh, an actual panel or is just an app. It is just an app. So the emulator app on your phone, in fact, I'm just going to pull mine up. Say, yeah, pull yours up. Too. Well, I've got to read. Okay. So you can see right here, this is just a fake panel. This isn't, this isn't attached to a real panel, but I can swipe it. I can scroll up and down through my lights. You know, I could check the weather, things like that. It is just a fake panel on the phone. It doesn't actually connect to a real panel. But that's that's a that's a valid question. I think there's a it lot is. of people who yeah, think that definitely. you know that that's going to connect somewhere. So it's just an a, an app you can download it on as many devices as you want. Play around with it, arm it, disarm it, do whatever you like, and it, and it's not going to hurt anything. So good question. Um, so that's look and feel. That's number one. Number two, 
is, uh, there we go, come on, LTE and Wi-Fi dual path, okay? So let's talk about LTE and Wi-Fi dual path. LTE and Wi-Fi dual path is the concept of having your LTE and Wi-Fi working simultaneously to the cloud. Um, now, we say this is exclusive on the IQ panel too because of the way we implement it, okay? Um, we're using LTE and Wi-Fi simultaneously. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there who will use one or the other, and they claim it's dual path. They say, oh, we've got dual path, but really that's just one path at a time, okay? You're not taking both pathways. This is true dual path. You're actually using both pathways. If your Wi-Fi is, is really bogged down, because you're watching a whole lot of Netflix. What do you watch on Netflix? I know you've got some guilty pleasures. What are we, we're watching Suits right now, but that's on Amazon Prime. Okay. But I mean, so you still you're is still using streaming. A lot of so you're streaming a bunch yes. of Suits on Amazon Prime, uh -huh. and your Wi-Fi is bogged down because of it. And simultaneously, of course, you're Snapchatting and Instagram, and Instagramming, and right. all that kind of stuff. Your Wi-Fi doesn't know whether or not the signals you're sending or the things you're doing right now are security or not. So if your security panel is trying to send a arming signal or light signal it can't tell the difference or the, or the importance of the data. It just right. says all data is data, okay? So in that case, where it is bogged down, the panel's smart enough to say, hey, their Wi-Fi is a little low right now, but their LTE is still really nice. I'm gonna set it over LTE instead. Mm -hmm. So it can, right. it can intelligently pick which way it's supposed to go based on the, the priority of the data and, uh, and the importance of that. So it's, it's a really, really smart way to do it, and it speeds everything up. Super fast. So you can, we use this for dual cloud uh, connection. So we're connecting to both the alarm.com cloud and the Qualysys cloud. Through that, you're gonna get software updates. Uh, that improves your speed. Of course, you know, when you send that command from your phone saying arm away, it will arm the system almost right away. If you send a command from your phone saying turn the light on, it's gonna do it right away. Um, so really, really fast, gives you great performance and, and creates that redundancy in case there's a problem with one or the other. If the cell tower goes down, you still got LTE, mm -hmm. or sorry, Wi-Fi. Wi if the Wi-Fi goes down, you still got LTE. So it creates that redundancy there. And of course, flexibility. For those installers on the line today, you probably know that in the past, you've had to kind of walk around the house. Where's the spot with two bars? Okay, ma'am, it looks like we're gonna have to install this on your knee <laughs> because that's the only spot in the house I can get at right. least two bars of, of, of signal here. You know, you won't have to do that with this because you've got both LTE, which is a nice big fat pipe, and Wi-Fi, which is accessible in almost every part of the home, you can literally put that panel wherever the customer wants. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. We're gonna show you a quick little video here. Oh, that's loud. This is a video that you can download as well and use as a sales tool. So that video as well is, uh, is available uh, on our dealer portal. You yep. can download that. You can also get it on a YouTube page. Put that on your iPad as a sales tool. So when we talk about how you can demo uh, or demonstrate uh, this particular feature to your customer, that's a great way is to show that video. That was a, what, a 30 second, six, mm -hmm. you know, 45 it second video? It explains so much. It does. It explains everything in a very short period of time. Show that video on your tablet or on your phone. Email it to your customer. Text it to your customer. Um, that would help a lot. Uh, the other thing you could do is you could show off your own system more than once. And you can see the screenshot I put here. I've used this as a demo to say, hey, you can see this is my basement right here. Okay. My basement, I'll show you how fast I can turn my light on and I'll use the lights and I actually configure my app so I can see the light right below it. And I could say, here's my camera, live feed of this. Let me just turn my basement light on and then resume that live feed. You can see it's already on. Look how quick that was. Around Christmas time, I would do it with my Christmas tree. I would say, watch, I could turn my Christmas tree light on and I show it right there and they'd see how fast it was. And that was waiting for the stream to come back too. At, 
odds are in the home, it's actually a lot faster, mm -hmm. almost instantaneous. So, so that dual path technology really does speed up the the uh, the whole system. I mean, previously in, in older systems I used to have, you'd say light on and it was like 1001, 1002, like three seconds. 1003. 2004. I mean, sometimes money five seconds. Well, I open my door and my lights are already on. Yeah. Like it's so fast. Yeah. We, we actually have set it up in, in rooms like our basement, um, like storage room, uh, utility room, things like that. We'll put one of our Z-Wave smart light mm -hmm. bulbs there and we'll create a rule that says um, when door opened, turn light on. And it's literally so instantly, fast. as soon as you do it, it's super, super fast. Mm -hmm. uh, and part of that is because that signal can go through the cloud back to, back again through those nice big fat uh, broadband pipes and be able to get there quickly. So here's some scripting you can use as you're out there selling it. Your panel is LTE. Most security systems are still using 3G cellular, which which cellular providers are actually discontinuing. Anyone trying to sell you a system without LTE is trying to sell you old technology they know is going to stop working. We don't do that. Our system also uses simultaneous dual path connectivity. So your Wi-Fi network will work together with LTE to make sure you have the fastest possible connection in your home. So hopefully scripting like that will help you out. All of the scripting, by the way, is available on our dealer portal in the sales training section. Uh, you can go into sales training, and as you go down, there's a, there's a whole section about IQ panel features and, and how, to, how to articulate them. So hopefully that all helps. So I did have a good question here, Whitney popped over. What happens when a carrier sunsets the cellular technology used? Is the radio upgradable? Great question, Steve. Really good question. Good. So LTE stands for? Long-term evolution. Long-term evolution. That actually was specifically designed by Qualcomm, the same maker that makes our chipset yep. inside our panel, to continue to upgrade over time. So we actually have the ability that if 4G LTE ever went out and they decided to stop using it, that the chipset inside it could upgrade to 5G LTE and 6G and 7G, et cetera, et cetera. So the whole concept of, of the LTE platform was so that you wouldn't have to replace hardware any longer, um, at least until the next crazy new thing Which is comes like along. 2030. Yeah, it's like 2035, or you know, it's 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 way out in the future. Mm -hmm. I believe your customer will want a new panel before the cellular technology will stop working in this panel. Yep, I think yeah, you're right. Yeah. So great question, very good question. Let's make sure there's no others um, related to. Oh, what about the data cost with LTE? Really good question. Um, so. From a data perspective, you don't have to worry about extra cost of data because Alarm.com absorbs all of that with their with the plan that you subscribe to. So if you get the the 4G LTE, or sorry, if you get the Alarm.com Gold plan, uh, then LTE is is part of that, and you won't have to worry about paying extra, you know, a whole bunch extra for data. I, now, that being said, I think some people are worried because I know that some people, the way that their accounts are set up, are paying Alarm.com an extra price for data. Um, if that is the case, um, the data that's being sent here isn't greater, it isn't a larger amount than what you're used to, it's just that it's being sent faster. So really, it's, we're just talking about improving the speed. And at Qualsys, we are really, really cognizant of trying to keep the data packets low, the, the, the files that we're sending small, uh, as, as often as possible, we're trying to make sure that we optimize those to make sure that you don't have to pay more for data. Um, and in many cases, because it's being sent over Wi-Fi, uh, there is no extra charge, and there's no extra charge for adding dual path or activating dual path on a panel. A lot of people are worried that to do both pathways, they're going to pay more. It's included in the service, in it. and when you're paying your alarm.com bill, when you're getting that alarm.com set up, it's all part of it. So really good questions, guys. Thank you. All right, let's go on to number three, Bluetooth disarming. This is my favorite. Why? Because it just makes everything so much easier. I can like set my alarm and then come home and I, it's a or disarmed. Yeah. So I don't even think about it anymore. I want to show you guys a quick little video. We call this mom coming home and this is available on our YouTube channel. Hopefully this plays okay. Bluetooth disarm. Before she even, she hasn't pulled out her phone or anything. Before she even gets to the door, front door's unlocked. She just goes right on in. Now you could add other rules to it, like lights turning on, like mm -hmm. you're, you were talking about in your house. Thermostat turning up to a certain temperature you know, fireplace turning on, if you've got a Z-Wave light on your uh, switch on your fireplace, any number of things, but it just makes it easy. And you, any mom can relate to that video. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, I'm ahead. not even a no. mom and I can relate to that video. <laughs> Why aren't you a mom yet, Cassie? <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Because she know. needs to be here working. That's Look what exactly happened with Jenny. Right. I know. She's I know. such a wonderful person, <laughs> but now she's spending all her time on a beach. We don't, you don't want to spend time on a beach. You want to be here no, with our exactly. dealers. 
Yeah, exactly. You guys, every day. <laughs> geofences are great, and a lot of people say, well, what about the alarm.com geofence? Geofences are awesome. The way my wife uses it is she uses the geofence to remind her to arm the system when she's left, not because she wants to arm it to protect the home, but because she doesn't want to have to pull out her phone when she gets home. Okay, it's kind of this this two play. When I leave, I use a geofence to remind me to arm a system. Oh, I left and I got to arm it, so she arms away from her watch. Now that it's armed away, when she comes back home, her Bluetooth disarming automatically disarms the system. And you can pair up to five phones with this service. Um, you you know, I personally only pair my wife's and mine. Uh, even though my son has a smartphone, I don't want him to do it because I want him to t disarm the system. I want to see and, and. What about tablets? Good this question. This is a frequently asked question. Yes, please. What can you can you pair a tablet? No. Why not? Because tablets are usually left at home. Yeah. So I mean, it would just disarm automatically. Yeah. So if I left my tablet at home, as soon as I left the house, when the time when the when the fifteen minute or ten minute whatever it is expires it would automatically disarm the system because it would be looking for Bluetooth devices and that Bluetooth device is probably sitting right on the bedside table where you left it when you when you walked away. Yep. Most people probably don't bring their tablets around with them. I don't. I don't either. I leave my tablet at home usually. Mm -hmm. I use it to watch YouTube videos. I use it to, you know, surf the web, things like that in the evening so I don't have to pull out my laptop. Right. Um, and it is nicer to have a larger screen than on my phone. I'll do some stuff on my phone. I'll do social media on my phone, but I do YouTube video and Modern. and surf it and web surfing on my tablet. Mm -hmm. So just depends on the habit. So for that reason, we don't allow tablets to pair with Bluetooth disarming. It's only smartphones. There's another thing too with smartphones is a smartphone is typically tied to a person, whereas oftentimes tablets are family devices yes, or home devices. I agree. You know, and by tying it to a person, now you can know who it is. You know, system was disarmed when Kelsey's phone came within range of the system. How far away does your phone have to be to disarm your system? Oh no. Like what for, oh, are you no, asking for, for my you, your system, yeah, you're, so I live in an apartment complex and our building is right in the middle of six buildings, I think. Mm -hmm. And I walk from the parking lot in and it's already disarmed. It's already disarmed. So it's quite a ways away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my house, uh, it's about fifteen feet from the front door. Uh, now the panel is probably another forty feet or so. I've I've heard our engineers tell people that it's it's generally about sixty feet. It depends on the home, what the home's made of, things like that, but generally about 60 feet away. Which I can attest to. Yeah. Mine's pretty far. Um, let's show a quick little video. This is another video you can put um, on your tablets to show off Bluetooth. I like this one. Mm -hmm. It's a real game. <laughs> yeah. Where's my keypad? Where's my keypad? Your system is now disarmed. That's Whitney's voice. She's got a great voice. She does have a great voice. It's disappointing she didn't want to talk to us today. So that's another great video you can use. You know, we talk you know, we talked earlier about is that Whitney? Hey! I want so desperately to hear Say my hi. voice. Say hi. Hey, y'all. <laughs> She's stuck behind her computer, just furiously answering all your questions. Oh, oh there we go. Um, There's a lot of the questions. questions. There is. It's a lot it's of people awesome. at our You've webinar today. I feel like stressed. You're like out of, out of breath. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. So how do you show it? You can put that animation. Oh, bye, Whitney. Okay, okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> you can put the animation video on your iPad so that you can show that video we just showed. Hey, well, let me show you how easy this is to use. And you show that video. You could also put that mom video on your iPad um, and show them, hey, look, this is an actual mom coming home. This is an actual scenario. Look how easy this is. Uh, and here's some script you can use. With our Bluetooth touchless disarming, you can leave your phone in your pocket or purse and will automatically disarm when your phone gets within range. No typing codes, just walk in the house and it disarms like magic. And you can pair up to five smartphones. And I always like throwing in, we didn't do this on the previous ones, but I like throwing in a closing statement. Something that's gonna get that customer talking. So who else in your home has a smartphone who would use this? Oh, well, you know, if my daughter has one and she's 18 and you know, my wife has one, and, you know, you get them talking like that, that's when you know that they're ready. They're actually thinking I'm going to buy this because if they didn't, if they weren't thinking that, they wouldn't say, "Oh well, we're, you know, I need to learn more. I it's need to ask." Literally, more. who's going to use this feature? Yep. And then when they start telling you who's going to use that feature, that basically means they're ready to use that feature. Go in and say, "Okay, well, let's get you signed up right now. Let's get you started up." 
Don't ask them the question of, you know, would you like to buy this? Well, can I sign you up today? They've already said by answering that question for you, they've said they want to buy. It's called an assumptive close. And if you're not using some uh, assumptive closes like that, you got to start. It really, really is effective. Let's see if there's any questions about Bluetooth popping up. Oh, there is. Oh, <laughs> oh lots here. Okay. Oh, this is always. What if a bad guy follows you into the house up, um, upon Bluetooth disarming? Todd, really good question. That is if you are worried about something like that, you might want to suggest to your customer that Bluetooth isn't for them. There's kind of this scale yes. of convenience and security, secure. and you kind of got to pick where you want to be. Some people want the convenience. My house, we live in a really safe neighborhood. I don't think we'll ever get broken into. Now, never say never, right? But the right. odds are really, really slim. Where we live, the kind of place we live, the kind of home we have, the fact that we've got signs and stickers on our windows, things like that, people are not going to mess with us, okay? but is it possible that someone would want to do that? Yes, it's possible. But because it's highly unlikely, we feel okay using Bluetooth disarming. If you live in an area or your customer lives in an area where there's a lot of crime and there's a lot of people doing holdups where they're grabbing people and forcing them in the house, you might want to suggest not using Bluetooth disarming. Okay? Uh, it's, it's something that, you know, the system would be disarmed and they couldn't do it. In those cases, I would say, don't talk Bluetooth disarming. Talk instead about duress codes and share the importance of a duress code, which you can make on the IQ panel too. But... You know, again, it's 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 weighing that scale. So really good question. Um, and, the, and the beauty of it as well is you can always turn it off or on later too. If you've got a customer, I mean, if, I, my, if my phone is off, I could swipe up and turn my Bluetooth off pretty quickly uh, if someone was holding me up. Now, could they see that? And could they say, hey, who are you calling or things like that? You know, there, you run the risk of that. So again, you'd have to make the decision as to whether or not you feel comfortable or your customer feels comfortable doing that. And if your phone, if you lose your phone, you can disable this feature on the alarm.com website, right? Valid point. So that's probably, an, I don't know if another question that is one, on there. I know that's one. That it's not, but that is one you yeah. get. So if you lose your phone, what, what happens when I lose my phone? It literally takes me five seconds okay. to realize my phone's gone. But you just go in, log into your account on alarm.com mm -hmm. and you're able to just deactivate that. You know, that's a valid point. Unlike a key fob, where are your keys right now? Uh, in my purse. It I takes her a second to know that. Where's your phone right now? Right here. Right there. You know where your phone always. is. You don't always know where your keys are. You're like, wait, did I put them in my pocket? Are they on my desk? Did I leave them in the car? Things like that. Those key fobs, if you lost it, you may or may not know that it was gone for a while. If you lost your keys, how long would it take you to realize they were gone? Oh, it could take me a day. Yeah. Like it's, hours I mean, if, hours it's, if you hours. lost your keys today, right now, you wouldn't know until it was time to go home. Mm -hmm. Same thing for me. I'd be like, okay, it's time to go home. Where are my keys? Wait, where's my keys? And they, by then, my house is empty because the person grabbed my keys. They went home. They emptied all the place out. <laughs> They'd also have to know where you live, People too, which to is pretty you. unlikely. But, um, again, another reason why the, it, the phone is superior to a key yes. fob because you know where this is all the time. You're always looking at it. You're always touching it. It's usually right near you, mm -hmm. okay? Um, what if a burglar was waiting at her door and hiding? How would she communicate the, if there's an emergency, if the system is, disarms automatically with geofencing? Really good question, Lindsay. Um, again, it's that same thing. If you've got to decide if something like that's possible, you know, maybe you don't want to use Bluetooth. I know alarm.com is actually working on an improvement to their app that allows you to send an emergency panic from the app. That's awesome. I haven't seen it yet, um, but I've, I know it's imminent. I've seen some reports from alarm.com saying that it's going to come out in the next update. So cool. we'll see about that uh, and how that's implemented might help with that situation. But again, you, you have to decide where the person re resides on that scale of security versus, you know, versus non. Definitely. We got to get, oh my gosh, it's 12.49. We got to get going. All right. Um, do you have to set a schedule for Wi-Fi disarming? How do you arm your system at night without disarming? Um, so it's Bluetooth disarming, not Wi-Fi disarming. Good, oh. uh, just to clarify. And it only works in away mode. So the we assumption is with, yes. with away mode, you never have to worry about anyone being home because if it's away, you're gone, right? Your motion sensors are active, everything like that. And it's the first phone that comes in contact with the system during away mode. So really, really good and question there. And at night, you'd arm stay. Yep, and at night, you'd arm stay. So that's what we do every night. We arm stay, and then we have a rule that says lock the doors, close the garage, turn off all the lights, things like that. We're going to bed. So really good question. Number four, feature number four, the five megapixel panel camera. Okay. That's a really fantastic oh, picture of you, by you. the way. Yeah. HD photos when someone gets home exclusively on IQ panel two. Um, let's show you a quick video about this. This is another great video you can put on your tablets.
we did it this one you need to do it as well that with <laughs> I love assigning unique user codes to people. I, if I've got a brother or friend, whoever, I give them a unique code because I love the disarm photos. And this is the reason why I don't give my son the Bluetooth disarming. I want to see his photograph when he gets home from school. If my wife's not already home, she's out, you know, taking the kids to dance or picking up the girls from school, whatever it is. You know, when my son gets home, I get a disarm photo sent right to my phone. I can see that he's home. I can see that he's safe. I can see that he's alone. Yep. More than once, he's brought friends home. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It he's 12 years nothing. old. He's almost 13. He's in he's in middle school now, and his friends are like, "Let's all play together." And I'll get that disarm photo, and there's a bunch of his friends in the background, and I can of course That's give him a call and be like, funny. "Buddy, What's why did you bring on? friends over? What are you doing? You're not supposed to have friends home." And that, that it's not that we have a problem with friends being over, but friends being over when mom's not home, not allowed, and allows me as a parent to stay connected yep. to that situation. I can see that he's got friends over. I can see that you know. He's in a good mood. He doesn't have a black eye. You know what's going on. Um, it, it just keeps me more connected there. Those photos get sent to your watch. It gets sent to your smartphone. It gets sent. Well, unless it's a Samsung Gear, of course. Oh yes. So, well, actually, no. That would still work with Samsung Gear because it's, it's a alarm. text message. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it was a text message from Alarm.com. You would still get that right. on the Samsung Gear. You might not have a an Alarm.com app on it, but you would still get the text message with the photograph. Do we have Whitney's picture of the day today? I, you know, Whitney, I'm a little oh, bit disappointed. Oh, she didn't come in today. Yeah, the disarm the photo minute. today, this is our disarm photo. It's a dark room, uh, and Jessie. all I see is Jesse's Jesse Jesse shoulder. And I accidentally deleted my, my history of disarm oh, photos. No. I've been okay, keeping all my disarm time. photos on my phone. You know, the question was asked earlier, would this benefit um, businesses? Would a system like this Definitely. benefit? Imagine you're a manager getting a, that text message every morning when your employee gets in. Did they get there on time? Are they bringing friends in there? Did they give their code to somebody else? Things like that. Absolutely relevant mm -hmm. for a yes. for a commercial type situation. Uh, this photo is a, this feature is a really really good one. So there's no more mystery anymore. You now know. I mean, and that was another thing that happened with older systems too, is because there wasn't a, really, any real way to verify it. It didn't matter if everybody shared the same code. Having that unique experience between users wasn't important. Now that you can see a face, you want that face associated with a name, which is why you want unique user codes Definitely. for everyone. The question we get a lot is how many user codes do we get? And I don't know if it's going to be enough. Do you know? How many how many it's user codes can you do? It's like over 100, right? It's over 100. It's 242. Oh, I was way off. So that means that you and all 241 of your closest friends will be able to have it. But if you have 243 friends, you're going to have to which, pick which two of your oh, friends no. don't get a user That's code. That's a lot of pressure. System. That's a lot of pressure. Yep. Hopefully you can figure that, that out. So there's a lot, of, a lot of good things in there. Let me uh, look real quick and see. Uh, no questions popping up about disarm. Oh wait, can you schedule codes? Thanks, Whitney. Can you schedule codes to work only on specific days and at specific times? That's a good question. Really good question. Can you? Yes. Absolutely. Through alarm.com, right? Correct. So you could say, I've got a dog walker that only comes in at you know twelve o'clock um, on Wednesdays, and they walk the dog. Who only walks the dog once a week? That's a really bad example. I don't know. Maybe a housekeeper. They work the other days. Yes. A house, maybe the dog walker comes in every morning between 10 a.m. and noon, and you could say this val this code is valid every day between 10 and noon. Okay, but if she tried to come, then let's say the dog walker shows up at three o'clock in the afternoon. Wouldn't work. Nope, doesn't work. It's going to come up as invalid. Their code won't work in your front door if you try to use that. If they are able to get inside the door, maybe they got a key and you don't have a smart lock. They get inside and they try and type the panel code. It's going to say invalid and the alarm's going to go off and you're going to get an alarm video of a very frustrated dog walker realizing that they're probably going to get fired for not only showing up late but for setting off the alarm. I can imagine some dog walkers out there really shaking in their boots right now. So, um, But in any situation, you've got a brother-in-law who is allowed to come over during the day but you don't want him there at night. You've got um, you know, relatives or friends or family or things like that. You could give a code to your neighbor so your neighbor could come over and help with anything but that code's only valid on these certain times, on these certain days. So yep. absolutely a lot of control that Alarm.com provides. And again, another reason why we love Alarm.com. They're giving so all options. sorts of great options there that really make a powerful user experience. So Definitely. let's see if there's any other questions. Uh, will the panel image sensor 
with the panel image sensor, will ADC charge a pass-through rate for pics to go to the phone app? So good question. Um, the question is basically if you have, um, if you're getting those disarmed photos sent to your phone, will alarm.com charge you for those? If you have interactive gold, I'll image sensor package is part of that. Alarm.com really considers those disarmed photos an, an image sensor. Um, so if you have the image sensor plan already included because you've got an image sensor, or you've got the interactive gold, which includes image sensor, there should be any additional charge for those. Uh, but it does count towards your 30 photos a month. Yeah. And you'd have to decide which bucket you want, how many of those you want. So really good question. Um, is the system rated for commercial UL? Uh, good question. I don't believe it is. I think commercial UL is... Uh, another a higher certification that we are working on, but it's not part of it now. Um, although it, it's possible it is. We'll have to get back to you on that one. That's yes. a really good question. So Whitney, mark that one down. Let's follow up with Mark Skeen and his team. And uh, he's our VP of Safety and Compliance. And we'll follow up with that and we'll get back to you on that one. That's a really good question. Um, and then, uh, you know, for those who are wanting to, well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll cover that in a minute the TSBs. Okay. okay, so how do you show the panel camera? So the first thing is you can put that animation video on your iPad or your phone. The other thing you can do is show them disarmed photos from your personal system. Hopefully you've each got your own personal system and you could say, oh look, let me show you the disarmed photo from my system yesterday, when my kid came home from school, when my wife came home from the store, when my daughter you know, came home from her date late at night, you know, things like that. You could show them the personal pictures you've got and that's gonna really, really tell a great story. The app too. We'll yep. actually take the disarmed photos. I should have put that on here. That the, the mobile app, the emulator app, you can demonstrate the disarmed photo by letting them arm the system. Say, go ahead, disarm it. And they do it. They type in the one, two, three, four code. It takes a photograph. You swipe over to the cameras and say, voila. In fact, let's demo that, Kelsey. <laughs> let's demo Selfie. that. So here I am. I'm the salesperson. And I say, ma'am, um, let me go ahead and have you uh, arm the system. Okay. Well, I'm, I've armed I'm the staying. system. Go ahead okay. and you you disarm the system. So I, you can see my panel is in armed stay mode. So, ma'am, go ahead and arm that. Just use the code 1234. So, oh, my thumb went into the way. So now I could swipe over to the oh, disarm photo. Oh, wow. Look at that great <laughs> disarm photo. There's Kelsey smiling and her finger. Watch right where your away. fingers are. Yeah. So. It to use the panel, the, the phone's camera to demonstrate. It's a great way of demonstrating. Look, it'll capture it right there. And then of course that photo can be sent to your watch, etc. Here's some scripting you can use. Every IQ panel system has a built-in camera that will take pictures when someone gets home and records during videos during alarms. Who else lives with you? You can give out user codes to everyone who should have access to your home. And when you when they use them, you'll know. Let's say you're at work or out at the grocery store. Someone comes over, you get a text message with a picture of that person along with the date and time they're disarming the panel. Who else comes over that you might want to be informed of? So again, that nice strong closing yep. statement that allows them to continue the conversation towards closing the deal and getting you done there. So um, we don't have a lot of time. Boy, we are, we're technically out of time. We told you guys this, this webinar would be an hour long, but if you guys will, or will be patient with us, we'll go through the last one, which is number five, S-line encryption. S-Line encrypted sensors uh, are exclusive on the IQ panel too. Uh, we'll show you a quick little video of this. It's good thing these videos are only 30, 30 to know. 60 seconds Jesse long. Did a good job. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice little quick video that you can show that will demonstrate encryption. Um, let's talk about hacking. If you want to go out right now uh, or after this webinar is over and Google security system hack, you're going to find a lot of articles. Now, most of those articles are written by companies like Forbes, Wired, etc., to make a news article. Um, they're not reporting of an actual hacking. Um, it's more, hey, can you show us how this technology works, how easy it is to circumvent this technology? And then they write an article about it. 
Um, in fact, almost every single one of these talking about the 300,000 American homes open to hacks of an unfi unfixable Simply Safe alarm or Xfinity security system flaws home open to thieves. You know, these articles are someone saying, let me show you how easy this is to do, but they're not actually reporting on this. I have not seen personally um, an, a news article, and if you guys have, I'd love to see it, about someone hacking a security system and actually getting a break in as a result of it. Uh, but we do want to show you how easy this is to do. Um, take a look at this slide while we're doing this, but I'm going to describe this for you. So I'm going to pretend, and this is a demo you can do with your customer, I'm going to pretend that my headphone case is a software defined radio. And this software defined radio you can pick up for about 10 to $20 on the internet. And I take this little device, because I'm a hacker, and I'm gonna go to Kelsey's house and I'm gonna throw out the bushes outside of her house. So I tossed it right there in the bushes. And now every time she comes and goes, anything she does with her security system is being recorded by my little listening device, okay? Door open, door closed, key fob arm, key fob disarm, all that stuff is being recorded. Now, when she's gone, I take my little de software defined radio, I plug it into my laptop, and I replay, just like replaying anything yeah. you've recorded, I replay the signal that was the disarm signal from her key fob. And by replaying that, I disarm her system and I can go right inside the house. It's so that you easy. You can't tell the difference no. between an actual sensor and that. No, that's because it's it's so the scary. security systems are not, are not encrypted. And therefore, because those wireless signals are not encrypted, it really doesn't matter what, I mean, that signal is the same every single time. The signal sent by a key fob is the same. It says key fob disarm and whatever signal or bits of data it sends, it's the same every single time. So creating an, a, a, a line of encrypted sensors means that the signals sent by those devices every single time have to be garbled up. They have to be, um, I wanted to say transmogrified, that's There's Calvin and Hobbes. Like a password. Well, Almost yeah, like it, a code. yeah. so it basically has to be changed in a way that only the panel can understand it. It has to be different every single time, okay? Which it does, that's what, that's what the IQ panel does with the S-Line encrypted sensors. But we go far beyond just simply encrypting sensor technology because it's more than just encrypting sensors. It's also having a firewall on the panel. It's having cloud token authentication. Cloud token authentication is the concept where signals from the cloud to the panel or signals from the panel to the cloud are also encrypted. So there's no way to get from the cloud down to a panel or no way to get from the panel up to the cloud. So it really prevents larger system hacks. Usually when you hear about you know, Target got hacked or, you know, Visa got hacked or things like that. It's because they hacked a single device and were able to, through that device, get in through the network. So crazy. Can't do that with this one because we're take, going through great lengths to encrypt every single piece of it. And that includes encrypted sensors. That includes visual verification. So now if someone were to hack the system and disarm the system, you now see. Now. In some panels that are connected to the internet, you can actually use that, the hack into the Wi-Fi network and then use that as a backdoor to get into the security system oh, and then create yeah. your own code. And then if you use that on code, your own code, the person you using no it idea. doesn't know. But with this, even if they were to use their own code, you're gonna get that disarmed photo. So again, awesome. you're protected by all of these great features, okay? We're using Z-Wave Plus, it has lifestyle device encryption in it, uh, Bluetooth disarming, which is all encrypted, you know, with that, that great feature we were talking about earlier. So you're doing a lot, we did a lot of things to really put security back into security. Now, how do you show this? It's a bit of a challenge because this is a little bit of scare tactics here. And I don't, I don't personally believe in selling with scare tactics. I think the system is beautiful enough and exciting enough on its own that you don't have to sell with scare tactics. But there is an awareness feature here that you want your customers to be aware of, okay? So put that animation video on your iPad and show them the importance of it. You can do a pretend replay attack just like I did. Okay, ma'am, let's pretend this, you know, my keys here or my phone or, you know, whatever it is, is a device and you can demonstrate that, okay? Um, just making them aware of what's out there because if they are shopping around, if they are either already have an existing unencrypted security system or they're thinking about buying a security system, they need to be aware that a non-encrypted security system is a potential threat. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but easily within the next few years, we're going to see more and more cases as this principle or this concept of a, hacking a security system becomes more and more mainstream. We're going to see more and more cases of this and they need to be aware of it now. So you start installing those encrypted sensors now so you don't have to be dealing with it later. So here's some scripting you can use. All the sensors paired with the system, all the sensors paired with the system are encrypted so hackers can't break into your home. Have you heard of a replay attack? It's basically where someone takes a $10 device that can copy the signals used by your security system and then the hacker can replay it whenever they want. If they copy the disarm signal sent by your keychain remote, they can walk right in. The scary part is 90% of all security systems still aren't using security encrypted sensors. 
Anyone trying to sell you a system without encrypted sensors is trying to sell you old technology that can easily be hacked. We don't do that. So again, reinforcing your customer that you are going to raise them to the highest of standards of both technology, but also security within, within the, the realm of what you can do there. So I think it's going to be really, really great for your customers. Definitely. Let me make sure there aren't any questions about um, encryption from Whitney over here. I've got all kinds of texts in here. <laughs> um, I'm going home. This is exhausting, the questions. Oh, you guys are wearing Whitney out, <laughs> poor girl. Um, will the basic kit come with S-Line sensors? Robert wants to know. Absolutely, good really good question. Every single kit includes three encrypted door window sensors and one encrypted motion. And of course your distributor will let you um, get anything else uh, by any, in fact. I was gonna say, do you want me to grab one? Let's just that? show you, look, as you're going to your distributors, look for the gold boxes, okay? The gold boxes have all of our S-Line encrypted sensors. So. That gold box includes three door window sensors and a motion, and all those are encrypted. As you look for other sensors um, around on the book distribution shelves, the ones in the green boxes are not encrypted. The ones in the gold boxes are encrypted. So, you know, the green boxes, if your distributor still has some of those, we just were left over from our first generation panel or uh, inventory that we already had. So uh, definitely look for the gold boxes uh, to get that encryption. So good question. Um, how secure is the Bluetooth disarm and the Z-Wave uh, this is a this is a big objection for us, uh, says Jay. Uh, good question, Jay. The Bluetooth disarming is tremendously secure, tremendously sec secure. Certainly a whole lot better than any key fob out there. Um, both Android and Apple and um, all the devices out there have gone to great lengths to, to make sure that the Bluetooth um, technology is very, very secure. So I don't have any stats to provide you on that. Um, I knew at one point what the encryption level was, but it's, I know it's banking level or better encryption. I know from Apple standpoint, some of that, some of this encryption that Apple does is just phenomenal. Amazing. You'd have to have like yes. a, a, the best computer in the world with a brute force attack that it'll take 10 years to do it. So some crazy, crazy stuff. And as far as Z-Wave goes, um, again, you've got two levels of encryption there. You've got the encryption on the device itself and the panel itself through the Z-Wave plus radio. But then to even get to that, They'd have to hack through both our cloud and or alarm.com's cloud in order to even get to the panel. So it's it's the the likelihood of any of that happening with a lifestyle device uh, is is almost nothing. And, and you think about it, that's one of the big concerns that people have. They've all heard about that story about the the kid that um, you know was sleeping in the room, and then the person that somebody hacked the video. You heard about that? I don't think so. So there that's was a scary. there was a company that had, was selling Wi-Fi cameras, uh -huh. and the family was using it as a baby camera. Well, next thing you know, they heard someone in their son's room talking to their baby. And oh, they walk in, the someone had hacked the camera and was talking to their baby <laughs> and horrifying. screaming at their baby and waking them up in the middle of the night. They were completely terrified. It hit right. the news a ton. Uh, but, you know, security of those lifestyle devices has been very, very uh, important and on the mind of especially parents, but everybody who's concerned about security. So very good questions there. Um, so as a summary, the five things are going to change the way you sell. Look and feel. Looks matter. Having a great user experience is going to really make an impact for your customers. Having uh, that dual path connectivity, which makes not only flexibility and gives us the opportunity to update software, but allows us to really send signals fast. Bluetooth disarming, uh, Kelsey's favorite feature. HD photos from the built-in panel camera and the S-Line encryption technology. You focus on those five things and it will change the way you sell. And we've had dealer after dealer after dealer tell us that when they focus on those, it makes a huge impact. Think about what you're selling today. Think about how you sell it today. Chances are you're saying things like, well, we've got the best service around. Well, doesn't everybody say that? Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, it does. It but does. Like, these things are what people are looking for. The convenience, security. It, they're differentiators. Yeah. They're going to set you apart from the competition. And when the competition is out there saying, we've got award-winning service and our two-way voice service, we're going to come over the line and we're going to be there if the, if the alarm goes off. Well, so am I, you can say. But I'm also going to give you five things that they can't. And you can list those things off and demonstrate them just like we've shown them. And I promise you, when you're doing that, your sales are going to go up. And we'd like, we'd like to hear about it. We want you to tell us. Definitely. As you implement these things, as you're working with these things, as you reach out to Kelsey and, and she helps you get this stuff off the dealer portal or get you more training or, or things like that, you know, tell us how it impacted your business. We want to hear about it. We want to know. And if it didn't work, let us know that too. We want to know because we want to help improve that situation because if you're trying to approach something, maybe you need more training, maybe the tool that we're providing you, maybe the video isn't good enough and we need to improve it. We want to hear about that. That's the kind of stuff we can we can make uh, great impacts for. 
we do have a very big announcement tomorrow. Can't tell you what it is today, but be watching your email. Tomorrow you're gonna get an email with a very big announcement. So it's very exciting. Um, hopefully that wets your whistle. I'm going to, uh, Kelsey and I will both stay on the line here and answer questions, uh, any other questions that come in, um, and we'll continue to answer questions until they're done. Uh, but for the rest of you guys, again, thank you. So, oh wait, I have one more poll question I wanted to ask. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna ask this last poll, poll question. What to you is the most exciting part of the IQ panel to choose all that apply? This is a good one. Look and feel the panel, LTE and Wi-Fi dual path, S-line encrypted sensor technology, Bluetooth disarming or disarm photos and alarm videos. And speak honestly, speak, you can talk in, on behalf of your company or you can talk on behalf of your own self. We want to know what is the thing that's most exciting to you? Um, Kelsey's favorite feature was Bluetooth. Maybe yours is something different. Okay. It really depends on, on what you're doing and how you're doing it. Uh, this is again pretty even. Yeah. So you don't you must have done a good job explaining all this stuff. <laughs> um, Whitney, any other big questions coming up? I'm looking here and I don't see anything that's critical. Well, like, okay. Ahead. All right. Well, guys, again, watch for that. Um, we're gonna let you keep answering that question. Looks like a few people have answered. Watch for that, uh, watch for that big announcement tomorrow. Also watch for the recording of this uh, this webinar. You'll you'll get a follow-up email tomorrow. Uh, thanking you for attending today and giving you a link to that webinar. So make sure that you, you if you want to watch that again or you want to share it with somebody else, please do that. Subscribe to our YouTube page, get access to our dealer portal. And one thing we forgot to say, if you want to be on our website oh, and you yes. want to be able to have your name appear when a customer searches for a dealer in their area, let Kelsey know. Um, she can absolutely help you. Just send an email to marketing at qualsys.com. Um, in fact, I'll put that right now in the chat function um marketing at qualsys.com and i'm going to send that so send an email to that email you can get in touch with kelsey with that or any of the rest of us um you can also send it if you want to get on our dealer portal um and don't don't have a way to get that or you need the links for that or if you want to get on our find a dealer tool uh that email is good for any and any and everything that we're doing here today so Guys, again, thank you so much. And girls, yes, thank you so fun. much. Oh, I, I am curious. Whitney, do we know who the farthest person away was? We were going to oh, send him a t-shirt. Yes. Listen, I need to use Google Maps to figure that out, but I am on it. <laughs> okay. And then we had a lot of people from Canada. Thousand follower. James, yep. our, yep, and our thousand we follower. Need his email as well. Well, I believe he, I believe he, he, I mean, it will be in here, right? Yeah, I think he, he registered. Perfect. When he registered, it should, we should have gotten that information. Um, let's look at, I just want to look at the questions because maybe while Whitney's answering the rest of those questions, um, we can see who the farthest away person That's was. It. Los Angeles is pretty close to us. Saskatoon, Canada. That's oh, pretty far. Yeah. Atlanta, Georgia, which is farther, Kelsey, Saskatoon or Atlanta? Woo. Look it up. Oh, Peachland, British Columbia. That's a, uh, that's that pretty one? far. Let's see. I'm going to pull up a map of the, for those, for the rest of you, if you don't want to hang around for the rest of this, you certainly are welcome to. But if you think you're the winner of this, uh, you could certainly stick around and, All right, and we'll so see. So here's Canada and where was it? There's British Columbia. British Columbia is there. Right there. Um, which from a distance standpoint, boy, depending on where that one is, Peachland, British Columbia. I'm going to type that into my phone here. Peachland, British Columbia is... 961 miles away. All right. So uh, type in Silver Spring. I'll type in Silver oh. Spring, Maryland. Silver Spring, Maryland. Holy cow. Oh, that one. 1,836 Mike miles one. away. That definitely is. All right. Let's see if we got any anyone that's farther than that. Atlanta, Georgia. I wonder if Atlanta, Georgia is, is farther. That is 1,566. Okay. So, so far it's still, uh, it's still... Um, what about Princeton, New Jersey? Maryland. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, that is 1,900 miles oh, away. Oh, so the winner so far is Princeton, New Jersey. Gonzalo. All right. Oh, Hawaii. Oh. How far is Hawaii? Let's see. I'd that one might win. Right Moscow. <laughs> what? Ted, you're not in Moscow. Are you really in Moscow? That's There's no way. 3,000 miles away. Hawaii. Hawaii is. Mm -hmm. So that's our winner so far. Unless Moscow's legit. 
I have a feeling Ted's pulling our pulling our leg on that one. What about Morocco? Maybe he says Moscow and it's actually like Moscow, Idaho. I bet <laughs> like, it is. Like Paris, Idaho. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, what was that with? Morocco. Morocco. Casablanca, Morocco. Oh, that is. Yeah, that's definitely 5 farther. Five thousand miles away. <laughs> Winner. It's Moscow, Tennessee. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Pensacola, Florida. I think I think our uh I think the winner might be our that one you just mentioned, Whitney. Morocco? Morocco. I think you're right. Yeah. Man. All right. So we'll glance through here, make sure that uh Morocco's that Morocco's actually the the farthest one. I'm pretty I'm yeah, I'm I'm almost I'm positive ready. that's gonna be. Uh Scott says he's two thousand three hundred and twenty eight miles away. Well, we wish you were here. I know. Buddy. We wish you were here. Guys, thanks so much for yeah. this. This has been awesome. We really, really, really appreciate this. Really appreciate you guys being here um, as part of our part of things. I'm going to go ahead and close that poll up. Um, thanks for everything. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to share the results of that, of that poll, too. Okay. Looks like it was pretty even, but the winner is the look and feel. 65% said so look and feel. You know, I don't blame them. No, it's so pretty. And like you said, it literally looks just like your iPad. Yep. It like does. so similar. It does. It does indeed. So, okay. well, everyone, thanks Have again for week. everything. We look forward to seeing you next time. Again, watch for a major announcement tomorrow, and there will be another webinar next Monday. Uh, and we'll be talking about that major announcement, and you'll have a chance to ask all your awesome. questions and things like that. So, thanks again for everything, and uh, have a great day.